right on set. <clears throat> <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the Let's Party Podcast with your host, Benji Weatherly. It's the podcast where you learn absolutely nothing. All right, we're going to do one of the first podcasts ever, walking around a studio with my boy. This is oh, Stash. Wow. Check that out. Yeah, look at so this. Is, we're going live. We're going live. We're going to have a, this is a mic and that's a mic, so we're going to oh, do a little. But this is kind of the, the where you do some art, more yeah, or less down here. It's a little choppy up right now. We're sort of renovating, taking the opportunity of the downtime to flip the space around. Is it cool if you run us through all this cool stuff? So when I first um, met him, or is it all offline? No, no, is that cool? no. I mean, it's just a collection of stuff over the years with my personal stuff mixed in by, as we're unpacking, we're figuring out what's going to go where. So, right. But this is all from 90s, 2000s? Oh, yeah. I mean, it's all like, you know, early, mid, mid, mid to late 90s into current. So it's like a good mix of it's this visual cool. technology. You know, like I've uncovered so many things that I've, People use the term collected. I use the term hoard because <laughs> I'm not organized, but I seem to have everything from a period of time that tells a nice storyline, you know? Uh-huh. So... Is that one of your pieces or is that some No, that's a good friend of mine named Zephyr. He's one of my mentors, one of my... I, I remember hearing Zephyr. Of, yeah. He's a godfather of New York graffiti. He's is sort of a pioneer. Is Futura? Of, is that the other Futura, guy? Futura, Zephyr. And those are like know, the legends? The same elk, for sure. So how did... I, I, I hate to ask because I've known this guy for 20... 20-something years, I'd say 24 or something. Um, I know you do graffiti art, but how did, was there one day where you came and you're like, I'm just going to try this on a wall, or did you do it in school books pretty much starting out? No, I mean, it was really just very early on in the mid-80s, early 80s, when I took notice and started experimenting. It was, we live in New York City, and you have these super big, tall buildings that have these crazy stairways, Mm -hmm. 17 flights of stairs that nobody goes in unless there's a fire or unless there's some reason you might go to your friend two floors down and avoid an elevator but nobody uses the stairways right. so that's where like we experimented canvas, it was right like there. our first smooth wall with markers and experimenting and you know before we ventured out in the real world right. you know and then so a little it was private little art studio a little sort of like hey that <laughs> looks cool but let's try it here first yeah and what uh, was yeah. the chemical smell inside that thing pretty good no we didn't AI? use a lot of spray paint came later so we were using more ink and making our own markers pink? We were making our own markers with like stolen school erasers and taking the felt strips and what? cramming them into like, you know, little band roll on jars and putting ink in. And what? That's we were experimenting cool. like that as early DIY, you know, not That's just with so our cool. lettering, but this is the 80s. The tools, yeah, yeah. 80s. Yeah. And you grew up, and you were born on uh, Long Island, right? But I grew was. up in Brooklyn your whole life? Well, I grew up kind of downtown Manhattan, a little oh, bit on really? the Upper East Side, a little bit on the Upper East Side, kind of where I sort of got into this is like where my. Oh, my that. tension, you know, I was like, hey, I see what's going on here. But then we, we moved quickly to, like, West Village, and what, that's where it really started. What me. It seems like this industrial area is kind of the new graffiti spot, yeah, because they don't really crack down as much? No, it's not that they don't crack down. There's just more wall real estate, so there's yeah. a lot more permission. and there oh, is a lot of ask for permission? There is a lot of murals in the neighborhood, uh-huh. much like Wynwood or using yeah. any reference to art neighborhoods. Uh-huh. Bushwick, there's a lot of mural festivals that uh-huh. because there's a lot of uh, real estate meaning a lot of big buildings with you know wall space so mm-hmm. you know and artists guys, actually you just go in and go hey well there but here? there's also like a hey fuck you we're just doing what we do right. all over the place and the oh, pandemic okay. just unleashed it you know really? the city stopped for some and so, opened for others you know so the artists came out of their cave yeah it's like when we used to paint trains mm-hmm. we knew on a blizzard night the trains Free aren't game. running so they would lay them up at certain places and we knew we had access because of the train schedule and because of the snow, the they're point. not. So you set the timeline to today. They're like, oh shit, okay, uh, nobody's going out, so we'll go out. Right. And then you just had free access and That's rain insane. to like just go crazy. So and then the next day they every out city, but New every York. city that I've been since the pandemic has been extra bombed. That's I went to cool. London not long ago, and I was like, holy shit, the highways, the just leading into the city. I was like, all right. This is pandemic graffiti for That's sure. That's so cool, though. It's like you know, kind of so, like when you guys grew up here in the 70s and 80s. It was 
Like, so imagine like, like night. You, you would wait to do it at night. Uh-huh. Night lasted for what? You know, like a <laughs> yeah. year? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> you know, they had a year of night. That's cool. And the cops so, were just sitting there watching anyway. They weren't doing anything in that time. I guess. Some were, some weren't. God, fuck, I'd hate to have been, you know. <laughs> I stayed home. I was too yeah, old you, for that you're shit. too old for that shit. Yeah. Is there anything you can walk us around and show us? Can we check out your shoe well, collection? We could do that. Yeah. Is that cool? Come this way. But we'll this go that way. We'll we just checked out. Way back. We checked out your... Uh, the, the cans that you work oh, with. You, you saw, but do you see the spray can? Yeah, the my spray can. Wall. It's like, it's like a, a graffiti's dream. Yeah, that's my new store. Uh, this is one of the coolest walls you ever see. Ah, oh, those ones remind me of back when I first started writing for Gravis. There you go. Right? They, they were when you first started. Writing yeah, for Gravis. that's like one of the very first ones we had, that's, right? Yeah, because I started working. So this is. This is all the Burton shoe. Well, not really. Well, there's there's one a couple other ones. Gravis there, but the rest are like neighborhood. There's Clark's. These Clark. are all different brands that he designed for. Yeah. Isn't that cool? So he did all these designs. I mean, the Nikes are all stuff I worked on, like my fabric, my graphics, oh. my concepts on their models. So we I got a snowboard boot over there too, though. Yeah, Nike, when they first launched their, or relaunched, I should say, snowboarding, they used my pattern that was on my first Air Force oh, One. Oh, on the back there. Like, I see that. Yeah. What's, uh, what's your favorite one, you think? I don't know. I don't. I don't have a favorite. You don't have they're a favorite. All, they're all my. I love all my children. This one right here is. If I had to choose, this thing is pretty incredible. There you go. That thing's cool. Well, right? You know, it's amazing. You being from the island right now, right? So uh-huh. That's a shoe called Hawaii Five O. This is. Yeah. No way. When Futura turned fifty, I hosted a birthday oh, is, party. Is that F2, what that stands for? F two T is Futura two thousand dot fifty. So that was a gift that I made for Futura when he turned 50. That's the and best we had a shoe. party in Hawaii because we all grew up with the show, Hawaii Five O. For real. So Lenny I and I, the Hawaii shoe. when we were hanging out, I used to be like, yo, when you're, when you're Hawaii Five O, we're doing a party in Hawaii. And I fucking gave him a party in Hawaii when he turned That's 50. That's insane. With dude. our boys at Island Snow. That's an incredible James story. Kadama, See? Uh, shout out. So, There's a reason why we got that one out of the, yeah, out of so the fucking bunch funny. right there. And then obviously he does like, if you look over here... Yeah, I mean, I when make I f- a lot of items check and over here. little things in between, but I've been working with this toy company in Japan, Metacom. It's the, when I first you know, met them, the they were little too, right? You yeah, had the little the guys? smaller ones. You gave me ones. one of those. I f- it's got to be in my storage still. Yeah. And it was the black one, but he was miniature. Yeah. And you had the, I think it was like maybe a little smaller than that guy. Yeah, yeah that. So that's been good. I've been that, you must still have a pretty big following in Japan, right? That was kind of like pretty a huge good. thing. Yeah, I mean, you know, we've, we've been okay. Yeah. Yeah. Japan just they kind of fell off on the surf um, community for a little while but we're coming back we're going to do a TV show over there called Drive Through next year amazing yeah we have, I haven't been to Japan in like 10 years wow I missed that place I was there right before the pandemic and, and I'm going back in August so very excited nice we're okay back, well, well we're back in the mix well, my do, favorite spot in here really is your painting, painting studio. studio yeah so, the painting studio you know everything that I've done started with me being a graph writer Mm-hmm. But to support myself, my family, I started making merchandise. I started making things with graffiti on it, using the same tools, right? Like mm-hmm. just, you know, we didn't have the luxury of, a, of, let's say, like an athlete that can go pro and sponsorship. We had to create a, a lane for ourselves in that way. Mm-hmm. And we did pretty fucking good. Pretty fucking good. You know what I mean? And so, you know, the, the difference is we don't have a nine to five. We have a when we wake up to we're done. Mm-hmm. But that's fine too, right? You get pros and cons with that shit. Mm-hmm. But for me, just being able to like dictate my work days and not every day, but mostly. I have deadlines, I have commitments with people that I work with, but it's been really nice to be able to define my sort of process. Ooh, the nunchucks. Yeah, those are plastic. Those oh. are faux chuck. <laughs> faux chucks. Those are faux chucks. So, what do you got planned for this uh, canvas right there? Uh, I have a big commission with a brand in Japan and China called The Bathing Ape, and they're opening a big gallery in Beijing. So these are some commissions that I have to do. you do it do from for a, them. a small kind of sketch and then on it, or you just go after it? You know, normally I just go after things. I just sort of, I can, I'm good at composing what I need to on the moment. It's kind of how I like to work, much like the way I used to do my graffiti out right. in, the, in the world. Yeah. That carried over for me, but certain jobs when you need approval and certain different commissions have different require. Hey, we want to see kind of what you're going to do. Mm-hmm. I'm a little dreading these because I have to now sort of mirror something that I did on the computer, even though I was using photography of my work and sort of showing 
an essence of what you're going to get. Right. I, I still have to sort of stick to that format, which is a bit more than kind of just going up at it. You know what I mean? Yeah. I got to be like, oh, shit. Oh, shit. All right. is, is it a gorilla? Is that, have well, it, it, it's tied into their, their logo. logos and their art and stuff. So I've managed to rework some of their patterns into my abstract work. And very easy to do on the computer. Now I got to translate it on two six by five canvases. And how long like, would something like that take you? A couple of weeks? Yeah, a couple, a couple weeks. weeks. Yeah, I mean, it, I'll, I'll really know when I first hit it and start, you know, once I get the, you know, the initial, okay, that one. I think one of them is more simplistic. One, I was a little... Are going to match up? Kind no. Of? Oh, no, okay, they're totally two separate. Ones. Yeah, so it's... And are these things super expensive? These, uh, is it canvas? Yeah, yeah canvas, right? Canvases, yeah, and do you make are, your own? No, I get those custom made. They, they're they made with like aluminum. It's, right. it's a whole new art form now because totally aluminum is better than wood. It doesn't warp. Mm-hmm. Right, wood oh yeah, they, I, have, I had that guy Misk made yeah, me a, a piece. Yeah, so there's some stuff that you me. have to to work on, and so they the technology is so advanced, and it's it's kind of like much easier for me to have it stretched for me uh-huh. on certain jobs. I can stretch. I I, I was You've brought up that. doing my own, but now the way it works, it's a it's it's a little it's like dropping your laundry off. Like, right, I could That's do my cool. laundry, but it comes back folded. Perfect. Just put it away. <laughs> we just experienced you know, that in Manhattan I, yesterday. I well, I came back, but that your shirt. It's oh, pressed. Yeah. It was pressed like that's, brand new. That's what I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. That's so nice. That's a good couple of good things about the city is you get things yeah. done like snap. Yeah. But so, um, yeah, what, this is this all going to be spray paint? Or are you going to do it's it? spray and acrylic? I work multi. You is that know, with the uh, brush mix, mixed medium. Yeah. Right. Cool. Yeah. And what is this? A, a spray can piece? Yeah. Right like, like I. Styrofoam? I no. No. Oh, it's are, canvas. Those are canvas. Let me move this. I I was just finishing something earlier. Get Look at these cool ass things. Stencils. But I, everybody's been doing shaped canvases, right? You see everybody like round or this. Uh-huh. Not, you know, it used to be traditional square, like rectangle. Uh-huh. So I commissioned my canvas maker to make me these spray canvases. I love these, the smell of paint. I know it sounds These are weird, actually but... canvas. They're not panels. So they're actually constructed the same way you would stretch a canvas. I had frames made. Oh, that's so cool. Like... And these are going to be displayed at some... Art. I have a few of them out in the world right now. I have a, a, a series of five, a set that's going to be in a show in, in China from my friends at Beyond the Streets. Oh, that's cool. Shameless plug. Yeah. It's, Beyond it's, the uh, Streets. Check uh, them out. They're amazing. Okay. That's cool. Um, so it's a real, real honor to not only get to show with them, but they supported my concept of, hey, if we're doing, can I... I'm trying to push a new concept through, and they were very supportive. So it's... Right. A, it's a win-win for me getting to work with them. But, you know, it's like as an artist, you want to keep pushing the limit, right? Uh, you yeah, want to do course. something Evolving. new next. But everybody, it's like when you go to see your favorite band. Hey, we're going to play our new, oh, you know, right, our right, new right. shit. And you're like, fuck you, dude. I love your play old shit. Play the greatest yeah. hits. I didn't come for your new shit. <laughs> yeah. That's, that's my kids sticking. are going to come for your new shit. I like so this because it sticks to your old work. I'm kinda. trying to put my old work on a new, new yeah, I'm trying to, you know, find a, yeah. a happy, harmonious... It'd be cool if you did, like, a realistic silver can kind of vibe, like a cartoon. I mean, there's like so one many of your cartoons. There's so many things. So ma- this, as a, as a shape, lends itself now. It's so in sweet. so many ways. It just speaks your art, and it, it's the, the thing that gets that. your art done. Yeah, you see it, you just know. You, you just know. know. It doesn't matter if there's an abstract. I mean, I did this for Yeah, a what friend. is this? Is this a word? Anything? No, it's just the letter S on this one. But, That's, I mean, just look at that. That's just so as a cool. background. It just, it's so sick. But just as a thing. Look at how cool that looks. Like, show that one in real time. That's so cool looking. You can put that anywhere and it looks so cool. So what is a, a painting, one of your paintings, is it you sell them one-offs or are they all for just commercial oh, no, use? I, no, I, no, I don't do commercial stuff. Like, I mean, I, I paint commercially for certain things but yeah my this is the fine art part of my world where more collectors gallery opportunities like that i i I don't do the hey we want to do a show above the sneaker selection anymore i've done that i came from there but i've elevated my game a little bit you can buy your art in galleries around here no you can't you can't that's like no but i'm trying to stay away from that no no that's what i'm trying to go into more of or that mentality of when you buy you know it's like and I'm, I'm, I'm grateful to my career. I've worked with a lot of brands and a lot of people I've met are like, oh, we support your stuff. Yeah. But well, you're also supporting the brand. Right. If you want to support the artist, you buy the prints, the paintings, yeah. the, the stuff that we make that doesn't, the brand doesn't have an attachment to. Mm-hmm. They get the check. You know what right. I'm saying? So yeah. I'm trying to sort of elevate my game so that I have more of a following in my fine art area, which I've been doing just fine with. You know Tripoli? 
uh, Tripoli Galleries, the pro surfer guy, has kind of crazy hair. He has a New Hampshire East Hamptons, and he does fine art gallery. And he's a young surfer kid. He's insane. I'm definitely going to hook you up with him. He does all the coolest stuff. He's sending us to the Whitney this afternoon to see this one display. I got to show you his insta. His name is Tripoli. He's the coolest kid, and he and he's no, the youngest right. art gallery owner probably ever. He's yeah, only like thirty. It, like I'm going to Singapore next week for two Sweet. weeks. I'm doing a residency. I'm having an art show, and I'm dropping my first book. Are you going to ship all your stuff so over there? I'm doing the residency, so I'm going to so make a bunch there? of work there. Oh, a little bit of work I did here Singapore's that I want to ship. Cool, man. You're going to love, love Singapore. I spent a lot of time there. I love it. <laughs> you're, like there in like, you're like their nightmare because you can't even like draw on anything there or they'll go like no, everything, cane. Everything I want to do, I got to sit on my hands and keep <laughs> totally. my mouth shut. Do, is that paint? Yeah. Get on the ground. Oh, yeah. my gosh. But that is pretty no, cool. It's, it's great to be able to, to go to Singapore to celebrate my first book launch. Dude, that's so cool. Because my, my editor is a Singaporean, and my friends over there are the ones that instigated the idea. They, they celebrated me before I even thought about, oh, yeah, I could do something with all this. Yeah, you're one of the most yeah. international graffiti artists, if you think about it. Because 25 years ago, he was all, pretty much the biggest graffiti artist in Japan. That's how I met him. And, like, we had the, was it the mine? Not mine. Um, Freaking, uh, what did we do that? Uh, G, the CD? Remember the yeah. CD? Was it oh, yeah. the... DJ, I can't remember what it was, but you did, I think, the art on the CD Lego. It was all in that Gravis time is when we met. And yeah, so I, did fun. All the, I did the analog logo. I did. Analog I was logo. infused in a bunch of that stuff. So we crossed over, you and did I. Did you make times. the analog one like that? The AG. The AG. That's my logo. Sweet. Well, I didn't that's know that's their logo, but I designed it. That's cool to know. Yeah. Um, but shoot, man, I'm, he's one of the busier people in the world. And the funniest story is that I went to his address in Queens instead of Brooklyn. So we're an hour and a half late. I've so, never been to that address. But. <laughs> He's like, I don't even know if you're saying the truth right now. And I'm looking up. Oh, I'm I like, I was like, like damn was, it. I look at my son like, where the fuck is 129 East uh, Metropolitan? So this interview has to be cut short because he's got to go. But stash, I can't no, wait to see what's so the future. You guys came over. This I'm gonna, we're going to do round two when I come back in September. And we're oh, going to do when it. I come to Breakers and have like Yes, some, uh, let's know, do the future shoot kickoff again. Out there. I would love that. I need and bring to, your son. I need to walk on some sand. It's been about 20 years since I've been on the beach. We should bring Pookie, too. Oh, my God. You don't bring Pookie to the beach. The beach comes to Pookie. <laughs> it's true. All right, let's be real. Have you met Pookie? Yeah. All right, she give him a too. big bear hug for me because I, I miss, miss Pookie. He's, he's the reason I got to work with Burton. He's the reason yeah. you and I know each other. Soul ambassador. Pookie is the cat. He's the rug that ties the room together. He's the glue. <laughs> Pookie is the I like glue. like the rug that brings the room together. Yeah, because, and, but he, he wants nothing from it. He's yeah. just like good people. She knows good so people, true. and then he goes back to being. What pookie. did I say? I said, uh, right. I said, pookie stash is, is the the white pookie. Wow. I go. I mean, not, I'm wow. telling. No, honor. but uh, but I'm dead like, serious. Like, like from the way I, you guys I, walk, I, I, the way I, I, your honor. hand gestures, He's the way you guy. talk. Pookie, he schooled me. And the cool part is, we're doing a pookie podcast too, so you guys are all going to yeah. see how similar they are. No, this just amazing. soil of this sand right here. Like you guys grew up here your whole lives. I'm yeah, gonna I just love now that we're on Pookie, I'm gonna just you know, goddamn, I miss the man. I know, but he's selling jewelry. He's he's slanging jewelry with his girl and the landlord. Oh, and, right. Yeah, he's crushing. He I does he does do. weekends uh, jewelry sh- um, slanging down by by finales over there. Stop. Yeah, so he works like three night. He works three days a week. And I need to chills. hit one of those days up. Yeah, he I doesn't go to the bar night. anymore. He's all in shape. It's I'm really? not kidding. I'm no, not kidding. Pookie looks enough. great. I'm gonna send you a photo later today because we're gonna go see him right now. I can't wait to see him. All right. Well, seriously, I, I, I. What's your last name? It's Josh Franklin. Franklin. How's With that? Stash. I've only known Stash. I mean, I was like Benji Weather Nuts. <laughs> weather Weathery, Nuts. Weather B. We- no, Weathered. I once Surf Magazine called me Benji Weathered because <laughs> I'm all thrashed. But oh, whatever. I appreciate your time. No, man. Killer always studio. Welcome. Always welcome. And I can't wait to hang again. My guy. Thanks, brother. Good day. Boop.